Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the light independent reactions in photosynthesis. These are also called the Calvin cycle. In the last video, we looked at the light dependent reactions. Remember that the light dependent reactions take place on the thylakoid membranes. During the light dependent reactions, energy from light is used to produce ATP and reduced NADP. And during the light dependent reactions, water is split by photolysis, producing oxygen. Now the light independent reactions take place in the stroma, and the light independent reactions use the ATP and reduced NADP produced by the light dependent reactions. During the light independent reactions, carbon dioxide is used to make glucose. The light independent reactions do not require light. We're going to look at the stages in the light independent reactions. It's really important that you learn them. The light independent reactions are actually a cycle, and scientists call this the Calvin cycle. The first stage of the Calvin cycle is called fixation. In this stage, the 5 carbon molecule ribulose bisphosphate reacts with carbon dioxide. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase, which is also called Rubisco. From this reaction, we make two molecules of glycerate 3 phosphate. Each molecule of glycerate 3 phosphate has three carbon atoms. Now you'll notice that I've also included the abbreviations RUBP and GP in this diagram. Those abbreviations are on the specs and you can use them if you want to. The next stage is called reduction. In this stage, each molecule of glycerate 3 phosphate is reduced, forming the 3 carbon sugar triose phosphate or TP. This reaction uses reduced NADP and ATP from the light dependent reactions. The reduced NADP provides the hydrogen needed for reduction, and the ATP provides energy. Now, triose phosphate is a really important molecule. Some of the triose phosphate is removed from the cycle and used by the plant cell to make glucose and other molecules such as lipids and amino acids. The final stage of the Calvin cycle is called regeneration. In this stage, the ribulose bisphosphate is regenerated using ATP. The regeneration stage is really important as this allows the cycle to continue. Now, there are a few final points that I want to discuss. Each turn of the Calvin cycle takes in or fixes one carbon atom from carbon dioxide. As we've seen, a major product of the Calvin cycle is glucose, which contains six carbon atoms. So this means that the Calvin cycle has to turn six times to make one molecule of glucose. And lastly, if you're following the Edexcel spec, then you need to learn a slightly different form of the Calvin cycle. In the Edexcel spec, Triose phosphate is referred to as glyceraldehyde phosphate or GALP, and I'm showing that here. Okay, so we've now looked at both the light dependent reactions and the light independent reactions. Hopefully, you can see how these reactions link together to make the products of photosynthesis using the energy from light. In the next video, we look at how limiting factors can affect the rate of photosynthesis. 